Good morning and welcome to the second week of Vlogmas. I am the kind of confusing and horrible human being that will go on a 20 degree day and get a frappuccino. I, like I thought about it as I was ordering it, but also I needed something to infuse so much caffeine into my body and this is my favorite way to do it. <laughs> you have to press. <laughs> Cause I didn't for like an hour. Oh no. <laughs> and I was like, why don't I know how to work this board? <laughs> Callie's basically got the equivalent of a speech jammer right now. <laughs> it's really bad. Part of me feels like this needs to be a thing that we do on the live stream. So we're here doing the live stream. It's there. People are there. We're watching them there. We're trying to figure out mics and stuff. Right Everyone now. just gets yeah. to watch me fail at vlogging. Todd and I needed to run to PetSmart really quickly for him to get food for the cats. And there are these kitties here, and this cat is so big, oh my goodness. There's a little black cat, and then there are these two over here. So cute. This is my favorite thing. Todd got his food. Looks good. Is that your lunch? Nom nom. <laughs> Guys, we're about to see my favorite cat. That's right, Knoxville. We're gonna go see him and say hi. Oh, hey, yeah. kitties. Oh, hi. Come here, kitty. Hi. Ooh. We got Panda Express. We got some cat food. I got to see some cool cats. Now we're gonna go back to Woodhouse and eat it. Yay, Friday. It's a Papa John's plate and Domino's pizza. What? It's so confusing. Why? It's a blasphemous plate to be using. <laughs> I really don't like Papa John's. This whole day has been basically working. Working on cinema stuff, but also working on editing vlog stuff. And I'm still working on the edit that was supposed to be out tonight. When I did my first cut of this video, it was 29 minutes long, almost 30 minutes long. I don't know what it's gonna end up being, but it's so long. Maybe that's what's gonna end up happening with these. And if that's the case, I'm so sorry, but... There's a lot of stuff that happens evidently. I'm going to do this edit and probably be up super late, but I'm gonna end the vlog here and I will see you guys tomorrow for Saturday fun. Good morning, it's Saturday, December 9th. I stayed up so late last night trying to get that vlog finished and I still didn't get it done. So that's gonna have to wait until later tonight. I have to leave to go get some coffee, but then I'm gonna go to Nicole and Stefan's and we're gonna play some board games for a while. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yes. Like on a planet that I own. Yes. Yeah. You can pull a troop off to do it though. And then at the end of each player's turn is when you refill, okay. which is an interesting note. Mm. Um. So I feel like today went a little different than I expected it to. I ended up playing games the whole day with Nicole and Stefan and Marianne, which was a ton of fun. I never really got to play board games before I moved here, and so getting the chance to like play them a lot and learn them and do that with friends is super cool, and we had a great time. But now I am home and trying to get this week one done so that it can be uploaded for you guys to watch. I am probably just gonna do that with my night. I'll just end my night here and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, it's December 10th, it's Sunday. I was up really late last night so I slept in a whole ton today. But I think now I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get some coffee and get some lunch. And then today is basically just like hang out around the house and do some chores and stuff, make sure to get some laundry done and clean up my room a little bit. So it's gonna be a pretty simple day. So I got back from getting coffee and getting lunch and I talked to Gory for a little while and then I decided to come in here and start cleaning up. I put on some candles and put on some Christmas music and I was just like doing some chores around the house and then Elise called me on Skype. It's so funny because Elise has the ability uh, on a Kindle to get on Skype when she wants to and send me messages and <laughs> every once in a while she'll call me out of the blue with no warning whatsoever and it was really sweet. I'm so glad that I was around to talk to her because they were putting up the tree and she was really excited about it and Emmett was there as well and I don't know, it just made my day so much better. I'm going to be home in 
nine days and that's so exciting and I'm feeling very homesick at the moment so I am looking forward to that. They all went and did uh, tree hunting yesterday where we go and chop down trees and I've done videos like every year that I've been on YouTube of that and oh man it made me really sad to not do it this year so I'm very much looking forward to going home for Christmas and it's just it's put me in a mood man but I'm really, really glad that I got to talk to Elise today. So now I'm just gonna do some other stuff, hopefully get some editing done and maybe uh, take a nap. I forgot about a huge thing that I was going to do today. Back in last week's vlog, I showed you that I got this 23andMe kit. Over Black Friday, they had a half off sale on these. There are two different kinds. There's just the Ancestry kit and then there's the Health and Ancestry kit. And I really wanted both of them, but it was so expensive. So getting the chance to do it for half the price, I jumped on on it. It came in the mail. So today I'm going to do my spit collection sample so that I can send it off. I have heard that it is so much spit and that you have to generate so much to put in the tube. So uh, I'm a little nervous about what that's going to be like and I'm probably not going to show you that part, but I'm going to do this today. So when you open it up, it's got this card that kind of explains the process to you and then in here is your spit collection thing. So you have to collect it and then you have to like put it in a bag and mail it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So when you open up this casing there's this tube that you have to fill to this line and then there's like a cap to fill it and a little baggie to put it in. Okay let's go ahead and do this. Based on how everyone was talking I thought this was gonna be a lot harder. Halfway there now. <laughs> All right we're there. Basically it tells you in the instructions make sure to fill it past the bubbles so like the bubbles don't count for the fill line it has to be above that so I think we're good. The next process is this lid here has what I'd imagine is some sort of buffer to keep it stable in processing. So you have to close that. And I'm sure it's gonna fill it up some more. Yeah. Okay, so once that's closed, I just have to unscrew this and put the cap on and then I can put it in the baggie and it's ready to go. Before sending your kit out, you are asked to go online and register your kit so that once they get the sample, they can match it with the barcode and eventually give you your data. So the really interesting thing though is because I got the health data, they asked me on the website whether or not I wanted to know the information from that health data. Specifically, they asked me if I wanted data on whether or not I'm at risk for Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. I thought that was really interesting because you can opt out of learning about those things if you don't want to worry about the risks or know about them. I want to know as much information as I can or I would not have gotten this kit, but I thought that was really interesting that they give you that option. I didn't actually film anything during the process, but... I have hair dye in my hair and all over my body. I was not very good at keeping it off my body tonight. Uh, my hair is going to be more purple. I wanted it to be more purple for the holidays, so now I just have to sit and let it sink in. It is another HelloFresh night, so I'm cooking the roasted pork tenderloin. Got some zucchini and onions. Got some garlic chopped butter, lemon, demi-glaze. Currently the pork is cooking. And so are some potatoes. Index. What do you want? He wants food, but I just fed him. <laughs> well, dinner was awesome, and I washed out my hair, and it's looking real dark and purple, so I'm pretty glad about that. I'm basically done with the evening now, just gonna hang out on the computer and then go pick up Sari when she gets in at midnight tonight back from PodCon. So I guess I'm gonna say goodnight for now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, Todd. Hey, did, did you edit the last video? Someone's a fake fan and doesn't get notifications for my videos when they go live. Who said I was a fan to begin with? You did. You when you met me, I like it was so funny because you were like, <laughs> okay. "You're so nervous." So everything you're saying right now is a complete fabrication. It's Monday. Okay, let's go to work. Todd, 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 Todd has decided he wants to mail my 23 and me. Let me show you what's going to happen with this guy. This is where I mail things, right? So rude. So rude. <laughs> Which one of these do you think it is? I think it is this one. Nope. I can't, I can't get it, Todd. Oh, oh no. Oh my god! It's, it's... I'm sorry, you guys didn't get consent from Todd. He just went right in for it. It was a bad thing that he did. But at least now, I'm gonna know if I am at risk for Alzheimer's. What are you gonna do? You just have to wait. Hey, Internet. Hey, Internet. Hey, Internet.
Oh, you need to watch my video. Yes. It's 20 minutes long. That's okay. Can we watch it together? Yes. But it is kind of snowy a little bit outside, so I'm probably in the morning and wake up to the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing yet another live stream. We're testing things out. I just feel like there's lots of live streams in our future. We're trying to figure out right now overlays for uh, Streamlabs, Twitch, Twitch Streamlabs overlays. And these are all the people. Nihilus says hi to Abby's vlog. More people are saying hi to the vlog. Hey, Abby. Hi. So it seems like I've been vlogging for your from your camera most of the day. I know, I'm so bad at vlogging during the day. It's okay. You look really comfortable. Thanks. You know what? I have something that can fix this. This is better because you can't see me and all you have to see is the bear. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you, re you really look super comfortable. Hello, I am a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. My name is Teddy. No, it's not. It's bear. With an H. My name is bear. With an H. Where's the H? <laughs> it's H-B-H-E-H-A-H-R-H. -H -H -H. Nope. It's it's H H H H, but pronounced bear. <laughs> we have fun. Yay! We're having a social media meeting. Woo! Dope. Dope. Rad. Sick. The next time this will be turned on, we'll be at a store. Yeah. Todd, we said that we would vlog the grocery store and we didn't. But we lied. <laughs> but now we're gonna get pizza. Well, guys, it has been a tough day. So. I'm home now. I've had dinner. I am just going to curl up in my bed and get warm and watch some stuff on my computer and go to sleep early because I just need it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, it's Tuesday, December 12th. I went to bed at 11 last night. It's also very cold. Cold enough that like flights are being canceled. Michael was supposed to fly to Toronto this morning, Michael and Kelsey, and their flight was delayed. They actually just left. I'm really hoping, because my flight home is a week from today, so I'm very scared, but it better, better be on time. <laughs> okay, time to go to work. Desolate wilderness of cold. You could say like a what? frozen hellscape. That frozen hellscape. There you go. Sounds accurate. For some reason, we decided this morning to walk in the 15 degree weather to market 17. on front. 17. Oh, 17. I'm so sorry. So We're gonna go get some breakfast because I'm hungry and everyone else is too. Did you I don't find know if I've mentioned that it's cold. Hey, Abby. Because it's cold. It's actually pretty warm, Abby. No. I feel pretty warm. That right is now. a huge lie. <laughs> I don't know where planes actually mm -hmm. Todd, I didn't film very much today. That's okay. We made a video. Um, the video is, I would say, uh, good for now. It's okay for now. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go home now. Uh, okay. As we talked about last week, Sari and I are hello fresh beans. Mm -hmm. We've been getting lots of boxes. I was just saying I haven't bought groceries in like a month yeah. <laughs> because of them. HelloFresh was at PodCon and I was ashamed to go up to them because we've been cheating them out of so much food. <laughs> I think they were giving out free boxes, but I didn't want to like get more free slip <laughs> <laughs> that we've been stealing free boxes. <laughs> Those ads that you have? So good. Let me try. <laughs> the point of all of this is that we had Blue Apron tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kelsey ordered Blue Apron. Kelsey ordered Blue Apron, but she was going out of town, so she offered us the opportunity to have it. How do you feel about cooking-wise, like as far as meal prep? Meal prep, I think it took the same amount of time, but mm -hmm. the instructions were more complicated. Yes. Like, it seemed like they said the same things with many, many more words. Many more words. And the really nice thing I think about HelloFresh is you have those like boxes of pictures and it's like mm -hmm. separate and it's just really easy to digest. Mm -hmm. Blue Apron was not that way. It's like this panel of words. It wasn't just like chop all the veggies. Mm -hmm. It like had to itemize them in a weird way. So it was like <laughs> chop the sweet potatoes in half and then into half inch slices or like Hmm. Things like multiple steps where I guess it would help if you hadn't cooked before. I feel like it was too handholdy. Sure. Maybe. If we know. hadn't had so much HelloFresh experience, <laughs> maybe it would have been harder. If we weren't pro chefs already. <laughs> the food itself 
tasted fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe this is because we didn't choose the meal, but taste-wise it was okay. So I, I would say like food quality, probably pretty much the same. It seemed like there was more food waste in the packaging. Mm, yes. So in the HelloFresh, when you get produce, it's all just in the bag, the paper bag, the way it is. Whereas this, like the scallions and the right, the cabbage, excuse me, they were all in bags, like separate little plastic bags. Yeah. It felt like there was more cooking utensils that you needed. Collard greens example. I had to chop everything up, but then I had to put it in a bowl and then coat it and then mix it and then put it in an aluminum foil thing and then seal it. And I feel like with HelloFresh, they would just be like, stick it on a tray, coat it with olive Do oil, thing. go. Maybe this makes it a, a better culinary experience, but like having to do dishes afterward. Portion size wise. The sides were not as big. Cause like we we're almost out of sweet potatoes. And yeah. we, didn't, we eat like a normal amount. Right. Usually with HelloFresh. Sometimes we make extra of the meat and then we have leftovers yeah. for lunch. But this time like we wouldn't have enough of the sides. Okay. But yeah. we're HelloFresh loyal. I Yeah. I, I mean, that's the thing. It's like full disclosure. I knew going in, I was going to be like, HelloFresh has done a lot for me. <laughs> I had to complain once and they were like, cool, here's some money. Hashtag spawn. Hashtag not spawn. <laughs> Hashtag please spawn me. <laughs> if you just give me HelloFresh for the rest of my life, I'm fine with it. Yeah, you're YouTube famous now, Abby. Thank you. So we got to get that HelloFresh <laughs> sweet deal. I feel like podcasters get food. Yeah. They always talk about it. It's like, yeah. man, I cooked my Blue Apron today. We got to get it. We so we can like get We got to just do podcasting. That's it. We just need to stop with this and just podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Well, how I, I learned so much from these workshops. We're going to come up with an idea. And now we're ready to start our podcast and get help. Our only goal is to get HelloFresh sponsored us, not to educate people or anything. Sometimes you have to have priorities. And I think we have them in the right place in order to make the thing that we need to make. Which is meals for ourselves. Yes. And occasionally leftovers for lunch. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Blue Apron, but HelloFresh. This has been Sarah and Abby's Food Corner. <laughs> Okay, dinner is done. It is late. I am tired. I gotta go pick Caitlin up from the airport in like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna end the vlog here and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is December 13th. It's like before 8 o'clock in the morning. It's funny how this time seems ridiculously early when I was going to school and having to be in the high school at 7.30. This morning we have to go get Todd's cats and bring them to the office. Let's go do it. Kitty's in the office. What time is it right now? Stupid. <laughs> so you came to help me get grab my cats this morning at an early time. Mm -hmm. And just want to let you know, I really appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. It's what? It's snowing. It is not. It's snowing. It is definitely not. Come on. You can barely see it. Todd, what did we just get? Legos. We got so many Lego sets. So they, uh, each set they sent four. <gasps> Stop. Yeah. Oh my god. So we got four of each set. What? Yeah. That's amazing. I want to make a snow angel. You're Are right. you? Yes. Okay. Right. It looks like a bird. That is definitely an angel. Watch. <laughs> As we talked about last night, we made Blue Apron last night and I brought so many Tupperware containers and had to make my tacos. And I feel ridiculous. Work is over. There is now a Stefan and a Sari making food. Don't be filming. <laughs> what? I don't want to give away my secret knife technique. <gasps> oh, well, I'll, I'll come over here and talk to Sari then. Oh, I'm not doing anything. I'm not even cooking. SecretKnifeTechniques.youtube.com. Yes. yes. Uh, Secret techniques chin. It's cooking chin. Cooking. No. Cooking chin. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Sure. This is the start of. <laughs> here's the announcement: the launch of the new channel on cooking chin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we go hard. Yeah. Party. Woo! They couldn't find the goddamn Serrano chilies. <gasps> What the hell? What kind I'm of so grocery sorry. store doesn't carry Serrano chilies? I'm so sorry. The Fresh Market Fair, mm. whatever it's called. And they were fresh out. They were fresh out. Gosh. Hmm. Well. Gosh. I'm sorry. Look at the mm. colors.
it's green amazing. and so Christmassy. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Got the lime in the plate. Yeah, in terms mm -hmm. of brown. Brown, the most Christmassy color. <laughs> It's just the color of the dead Christmas tree after uh -huh. you've had it up for several weeks. Mm -hmm. And snow after it's been on the ground mm -hmm. for half a day. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the logs that you put in your fireplace. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> significantly more festive than our <laughs> <than laughs> two. Or reindeer poop. Or just like reindeer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you guys for dinner um, and the scintillating conversation. Idea that I had oh yeah. Earlier. Yeah. Um, it's called cauterized butthole. <laughs> That's all. I thought you were gonna turn it off. It's just the beginnings um, of an idea. Yeah, it was just the start. Pick up a day. Install it. Well, that, I forgot even why I said that earlier. You guys have hot water, and yeah. I said, "Good thing yeah. there's no day." Yeah. And you have a cauterized butthole. And I said, "Steph, and I picture everything stop." Oh, Which yeah. I wouldn't mind, but. A cauterized butthole or bidet? Caitlin said, then you won't go anymore. Oh. Oh, yeah, if you don't need to poop anymore? Yeah. No, then you have like a poop tube instead. Yeah, that's. A poop. A poop. <laughs> Yeah. Over in the distance, you might see that Stefan and Sari are putting together her computer. It looks kind of like a computer like to a me. Computer. Mm -hmm. Looks good, guys. Well, that was an entirely too fun night and something I definitely needed. It was really low key. I mean, I basically spent the last hour or so editing my video and just like hanging out, but sometimes that's nice. And that's kind of what I needed tonight. Only one more day left of the vlog this week. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow for the end of Vlogmas week two. Hello, it is Thursday, December 14th. This is the last day of week two of Vlogmas. This is going so fast. Holy crap, there's, there's only four weeks of Vlogmas and now we're halfway through. This is crazy. Today is our last work day of the week, but I'll definitely be working tomorrow. One thing that's pretty strange about Missoula is in Maryland when it when I would wake up in the morning and there was snow on the ground it meant that it snowed the previous night in Missoula when I wake up in the morning and there's snow on the ground I'm like oh yeah it's not been warm enough to melt any of the snow that fell like a week ago so this is what we've got <laughs> anyway I'm gonna head into work and I'll see you guys there <laughs> me? Mm-hmm. No, the other Logan. I didn't mean, hear you say Logan and cut out. <laughs> I'm eating a sandwich. <laughs> Picking a little bits off the plate to put on so that this last bite is like perfect. We're being very productive today. We're having a meeting about the live stream. Okay, the work day is over. We just had our very last New Year's Eve planning meeting with the whole group. So now I'm headed over to Stefan and Nicole's to watch the final mid-season finale of Riverdale. Actually the real one tonight. And then I'm gonna go home and edit this video and you guys are gonna see it. Oh my gosh. Well, I didn't film while we were watching Riverdale because everyone was super stressed out and we all just needed a chance to chill, but we watched the finale. It was weird, but uh, we are home now. Tomorrow is Project for Awesome, so I am super excited about getting started with that and being involved with that. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna end the week two of Vlogmas here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know that this one was another long one. I think that's just how it's gonna be. Next week, I'm going to be going home and getting ready for Christmas, so that'll be exciting. Get to do a little bit of travel vlogging for you. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later.